Now I'm going to show how to convert a base 10 number into a base 2 number with a, qu a quick example. It's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Let me just pick a number at random that I'm going to start with. Let's say 13.16. Now this is a decimal point. And what I want to do is convert it into a base 2 number. So the base 2 number will have zeros and ones, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then there's a point which we might call a binary point, okay? And then there are more, um, uh, more binary numbers like that. I don't know if this is the answer or not, though. Okay, so let's first divide our number into two pieces. We have the uh, whole number part, 13, and then we have the fraction part, 16. So first I will work with the whole number part, okay? So here's what I do. I begin with this. I say, let's take 13 and divide by 2. Divide 2 into 13, I get 6 and the remainder of 1. Now down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a, a, a point to represent my binary number. There's a binary point right there, and I'll say my unit's place is a 1. Now I have 6 here. I'm going to take 6, and I'm going to divide 6 by 2. That goes in three times, and the remainder is zero. So zero is now my next number that goes to the left of the binary point. Now I take three and divide by two. Two goes into three, one, and a remainder of one. So now I put a one here, and I have a one left. So I divide two into one, goes in zero with remainder one, and then I put a one here. So this will be the binary representation for the number 13. You can add it up to check to see if it's right. There's one unit, there's zero twos, there's one four, and then there's one eight, and that, as you see, adds up to 13. Now how about the fractional part? Okay, the fraction is the number 16. Let me do that in red here. Okay, so the number 16. When I have a fraction, I do something a little bit different. Okay, so I take 0.16 and I multiply that by 2. Okay, and 2 times 16 gives me 0 0.32. And the units digit is 0. So I put a 0 to the right of the binary point. Okay, now I have 32. What's 2 times 32? Here, let me write it like this might be easier. 2 times 32 is 64 with another 0 in the units place. So I put a 0 there. Okay, now I have 64, 0 0.64 multiplied by 2, I get 8, and then 12, I have a 1 in the units place finally. So I put a 1 there. Now I have subtract off the 1 and I go 0 0.28 multiply by 2, 16, 5, I still have another 0, this is 16. Okay, so I put a 0 here. Okay, now I have point, point 0.56, multiply by 2, 12, 1.12. I have a 1, I put a 1 here, and I can keep on going with this, multiplying by 2. In general, there's no guarantee that this fraction will ever terminate. It can go on forever. And um, so when you're converting um, fractions from one base to another, uh, that can be an issue. A fraction which only has a finite number of digits in one base can have an infinite number of digits in another base. I don't know um, uh, when this terminates. I haven't worked it out. But you can keep on going. But this should be an approximation to our number. Let's, let's look at this fraction right here. This is one-halves, this is one-quarters, this is one-eighth, so we have a one-eighth, this is one-sixteenth, this is one-thirty-two, plus one-thirty-two, plus whatever else would come in here, but one-eighth plus one-thirty-two is uh, five over thirty-two, and what's five over thirty-two? Uh, multiply it out on your calculator, and... Uh, so let me just work it out. 5 over 32. Uh, I'm going to do it on my phone calculator here. 
uh, five, five, 32 divide, and that's 0.156. So these two numbers here, these two fractional terms add up to 532, which is 0 0.156. So you see, it's not quite 0.16 because we still had a few more terms to go. So that's how we convert decimal to binary.